Georgia and this is The Sound of Georgia. I've been doing a lot of Hamilton related videos recently and I promised I wouldn't do any more for a while but I also promised myself I'd do a video reacting to the announcement of the Australian Hamilton cast and well that was announced Monday and I wanted to get in quick and do it now. So today I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on the cast of the Australian production of Hamilton. <laughs> I am so happy with this cast. I'm not going to read the whole cast list out for you, but I am going to include a link below to the announcement video that they posted on YouTube, as well as the cast list on the actual website. Lynn and Tommy Kale and I imagine just about everyone else who was involved behind the scenes in the original production was involved in the casting. So A, I trust them, and B, even with that, hats off to them. I could see as soon as I watched the video for the first time that these guys are going to be great. And I've only heard of one of them. More on her in a bit. Right before the movie came out, I did a video where I talked about my thoughts about it, and I briefly touched on who I would have liked to see in the Australian cast. And that section of the video is a little awkward <laughs> looking back on it. But in that video I mentioned how ages and ages ago, like maybe this was even before the announcement that it was coming down under was announced, the Guardian website did a special fantasy fan cast, well cast, for the show. I was pretty apprehensive about all that when I read it because it was coming from a much more popular side of the fandom rather than the theatrical performer side. But what we've got now is completely different. That list only got one person they correctly cast. The guy who's going to be playing Lawrence and Philip, Marty Alex. But other than that, everybody else is completely different. And I am very glad about that. I also mentioned this in the other video, but that list had Jessica Mountboy on it and she was definitely one of the fan favourites to play Eliza, but I never really wanted her to. But she's not and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy about that. When it came to her my big worry was actually the larger point of the cast being diluted with celebrities just for the name recognition rather than talent. But I'm very glad that's not the case. Though I do think that Guardian fancast article was totally right when it comes to Marty Alex. He is adorable. They're all so adorable. Every actor who plays those roles is adorable. As for Alexander Hamilton himself, he looks very young. If you showed me this picture of Jason Arrow, and told me he was in Hamilton, but you didn't tell me who he was playing, my first guess would be Lawrence and Philip. He doesn't look quite as young in the announcement video as he does in that picture, but he still seems young compared to most of the other Alexanders I've seen pictures of. But I might be completely wrong, just because he looks young doesn't necessarily mean he is. And even if he is young, that doesn't have anything to do with him being a good fit for the role. With the show taking place over the span of 28 years, the actors' ages are a bit fluid, for lack of a better word. Renee Elise Goldsbury, obviously, was a full 15, 16 years older than Jazzy and Pippa. In reality, there were two years between the three oldest Skylar sisters. But I had no problem believing Renee as Pippa and Jazzy's sister, even though there was such a big age difference between them. I also had no problem believing she was playing a 20 year old when she first walked on. Just like at the end of the show, I had no problem believing that Philippa was playing a woman who was in her 40s, even though she was only 26. There's absolutely nothing in the show that requires an actor to be a certain age because of how long the show takes place over, I just noticed that Jason Arrow looked very young. So now I'm going to be talking about the only actress I knew, Chloe Zhu, and she's playing Eliza. 
Now not only have I heard of her, but she was actually probably my first pick for Eliza. I saw her in Legally Blonde and she was amazing. And I went to Save Your and met her afterwards, before and right after it had been announced that it was coming down under. I had been thinking about how I sadly did not know all that many BIPOC Australian theatre actors. So I really couldn't make too many guesses as to who I thought would be in the show or who I might like to see. But she was one of them. Really, the only ones I could truly think of were the girls and George Washington. Now, Chloe Zool was the only person I had thought of that ended up in the cast, but that's okay. A lot of people seem to have her in mind for Angelica, but for me she had always been a pick for Eliza or Peggy and Mariah, because the first person I thought of who could do a really good job as Angelica was Patrice de Pocky. Obviously, she's not in the cast, but that doesn't matter to me. I'm, I'm super excited to see how Akina Edmonds is going to do, but my point is she was the person I had thought of for Angelica specifically, meaning Chloe was not. Okay, the big one. George Washington. One actor I had wanted to see in this show more than anybody else was Jay Lagaya as George Washington. I think he would be perfect. But, that being said, I do understand why he's not. He is getting a bit older, so it makes sense. But what I wanted was, if it wasn't Jay Lagaya, I wanted it to be someone who I'd never heard of. And success! As I said, Chloe's the only person in the cast I've heard of before. And as it turns out, two of the ensemble members, Jimmy J.J. Jetta, say that type five times fast, and Jeffrey Duffy, have already done the show in the States. And if you look on the website, you can actually see which ensemble members are playing the bit parts. So if you go to the website and click around on the ensemble members, you'll be able to find out who's playing Seabury and Iker and all that. Which leaves only one question. Who is the bullet? I can't wait to find out. The first time I watched the video, I just saw everybody and went, oh my god, they're perfect. Yes, 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 I can see it. That's perfect. She's great. By the time we got down to the end, I was crossing my fingers hoping Chloe Zill would be in there. But with all this said, will they be my one true Hamilton cast? Honestly, I don't know. I already love them. I'm sure I'll love them forever and I am so excited to see other people do the show. But the OBC has worked its way into my heart and my brain as the Hamilton cast. I also talked a bit about that in my video from a few months back. And that's even more so now that the movie's out. Chloe Zool was my first pick for Eliza when Hamilton came to Australia from the very beginning, but I have a feeling Philippa Sue will always be Eliza to me. Of course that will not stop me from fan casting many of the Australian cast members as characters whenever I'm reading a Hamilton novel or fan fiction. In fact I may have already started doing that. Every time I fan cast a character when I'm reading a Hamilton related book it's somebody who's been in the show at some point. Obviously for characters who are a part of the show it's the OBC but for characters who aren't, I'm still visualising people who are in the show. We never technically meet Theodosia in the play, but I certainly wasn't picturing her when I was reading this book. I was picturing her as Samantha Murray Ware, who was the original Chicago Piggy and Mariah. Now, I could be completely wrong. Maybe after I see the show, they will be the Hamilton cast for me but I don't think it's a guarantee. And if that happens to be the case, bring it on. Wait, wrong show. Bring it on because they are all so wonderful and they all look so happy to be a part of it and I cannot wait until March next year when I can see the show and watch them blow us all away because I know they will. And that's all I've got to say for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know, of course, what are your thoughts on all this? Were you happy with the casting? Did you know of anybody who made it into the cast? Or are they all completely new faces to you? And that's it for everything today guys. I really wanted to do this video 
as soon as I could after the news had come out. But I think I'm going to lay Hamilton aside for the next few videos and talk about some other things. I hope you guys are all staying safe. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my video next week. So long for well.